hospitals and our most vulnerable. We need a runway for the vaccine to roll out. That's why, after consulting with the Chief Medical Officer of Health, listening to hospital CEOs and other health experts, and extensive discussions at the Cabinet table and caucus throughout the weekend, I'm announcing today that Ontario will enter a province-wide shutdown starting at 12.01 a.m. on December 26. This difficult action is without a doubt necessary to save lives and prevent our hospitals from being overwhelmed in the coming weeks. Make no mistake, thousands of lives are at stake right now. If we fail to take action now, the consequences could be catastrophic. And as Premier, it's my duty to act. As Premier, it falls on me to make the difficult but necessary decisions. And I will never, ever shy away from my duty to protect the people of Ontario. This province-wide shutdown, it's a temporary but one-time measure in response to the exceptional circumstances we're facing. We're asking all Ontarians to stay at home and only leave when absolutely necessary, such as work, groceries, prescriptions, or medical appointments. Essential businesses, such as grocery stores and pharmacies, will remain open at reduced capacity. Other retailers will be open for curbside pickup and deliveries only. The restrictions will be made in place for a period of 14 days in Northern Ontario and for a period of 28 days in Southern Ontario. Dr. Williams and his team will keep a close eye on what the data tells us to determine if it's safe to lift any restrictions or if they need to be extended. I want to speak directly to those in areas of the province that are currently in yellow or green. The risk of interprovincial travel and further spread is a real concern. We've seen that people are moving from regions to region and bringing COVID with them. The health officials are telling us that province-wide action is needed if we're going to break these trends. We also know Quebec is shutting down. So areas like Ottawa, which have done a great job, and I want to give a shout out to the folks of Ottawa and the mayor out there, you've done a great job at lowering numbers. From high numbers, you brought them down. We'll be at tremendous risk over the holidays of people flooding in across the border if they were to stay open. And we've seen it before in Ottawa from the Quebecers, and we love Quebecers, but they'll be flowing into Ottawa. But we will continue to monitor the data and make adjustments if necessary. As part of this shutdown, we're also looking at our schools. I want to be clear, schools are not part of the problem of COVID in our communities. But out of an abundance of caution, school closures over the winter break will be extended. Students from kindergarten to grade 8 will resume in-class instruction on January 11th. High school students will resume learning remotely on the 11th and return to in-class instructions on January 25th. Asking students and staff to stay home a little longer will help ensure we do what's needed to control the spread. These are decisions that are extremely difficult, but they're absolutely critical. And I know how much our businesses are struggling. That's why I have directed our finance minister to review our existing business support programs.